Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. So yes, I'm wearing the same shirt as my last video. Please don't judge me. I'm filming all of this content in one day because I need to get it done. So um, judge your mom. Anyways, today I'm going to be talking about a few. I was going to say 10, but I can't find my other two organizing items. But my favorite organizing items from the Dollar Tree. Yes, it's a dollar, honey. So you better go ahead and go get it. I absolutely love organization items that are cheap because you save and you keep tidy. So we're just going to go ahead and hop right into it. A lot of these objects already have my stuff inside of them because that was really loud. I'm sorry. Oh, I just lost all that lighting. I am so sorry. I'm not using a light. I'm using natural lighting. So if the lighting shifts a lot in this video, I apologize for that. But a lot of these items have my belongings inside of them already because I've already put them to use. If you saw my last video, you know exactly what I put it to use for. That was really bad. I will leave something up here so you can go ahead and watch that afterwards. But let's go ahead and get started. First things first, they sell these bins which you can just store a lot of miscellaneous items or anything really. You can just use these to store inside of a closet. I love these. The lids kind of like snap on and shut and they have a pretty good amount of space. So love these containers. It's a little storage box it's by the essentials. So I love that. Other thing that I really ended up liking was, this is kind of like the, in their office area, but it's these metal, like, I don't know. I, I would say that they're like little office kits, but I absolutely love these. It goes so well with the aesthetic in here. Oh my God, the lighting is gonna shift so much. I am so sorry. Um, but absolutely love this. It, I bought this and also like a paper sorter, which is like the flat rectangular one. I'm using that one over there. A lot of important documents in there, which is why I didn't grab it. But I love this. I just put a lot of miscellaneous things that I have to pay attention to in this on my desk and it's perfect. Next thing, the Dollar Tree sells little packets of these storage bins. They're like miniature storage bins. I absolutely love these for nails. You can probably see that they're already in there. So every time that we take something apart, for example, we took apart my son's bassinet, there was a lot of nails involved with that. So these are perfect for that. You just shove the nails right in here and then I just go ahead and go in with a Sharpie and write what exactly it's for. So I wrote that it was his bassinet nails. Keep that, store it with the bassinet and they're all in a safe place and you don't gotta worry about them anymore. I absolutely love these for that. You could also use these for a lot of other things, but that's mainly what I use this for. Next thing are mason jars. I'm using this mason jar right now to hold my pens and stuff like that on my desk. It comes with a lid. Let me actually grab that. All right. Ooh, hello, okay. I'm back and I'm back with the lid. So it comes with a clear lid. This is glass and this is plastic. So yeah, it comes with a clear lid. You can use it for pens. I also have two more in my bathroom that I use for... I also have two in my bathroom that I use for Q-tips and cotton rounds that I use for my skincare. So you can use them for a lot of things, but these are absolutely my favorite and they're not plastic so i know that they have the regular like the name brand mason jars like the ball ball hopefully that's what they're called but um i know that they have those but in the dollar tree that i went to they didn't but they at least had these which um have a little bit more space on the inside so i like that but yeah you can find these there too and another thing is these so this actually comes in a pack of two for a dollar and i use these inside of my drawers right now to keep my extra pens or anything that i write with in here so i love these came in a pack of two i know that they had a few different colors as well i believe they had them in blue gray and like a beige color but you get two of these for a dollar i mean you can't really beat that at all so i love that <laughs> Um, 
And another item that I actually just saw that's in here, <laughs> me, I can't find them, finds them, is these hooks. They're like command hooks, but Dollar Tree. They're a dollar. And this pack specifically, I got the mini ones. So this one came with four. I know that the bigger sizes, oh, there's a hair tickling my nose. I know that the bigger sizes, I think, comes in a pack of six. They have them clear like this, and then they have them in like the silver, like silver coated, I guess we could say, the silver coated ones. So yeah, I'm actually going to use these to hang my Cricut mats on the side of my desk so I have more room in my drawer. Um, I just haven't put them to use yet. But um, like I said, it comes in a pack of four for the small ones and the bigger ones come in a pack of six. But they're still a dollar. Like what? They're still a dollar. Anyways, <laughs> moving on to the last item that I have. Actually, it's not the last item. I have another one that I will show you. I have two other items that I'm going to show you. Why is my mind just, why is my brain farting today? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why my brain is just like <clears throat> today. But anyways, moving on. <laughs> um, for those of you who don't have a Cricut but want to make your own labels, these were the best find that I ever saw in the crafting section. Like, I didn't know that this was a thing. These are rub-on transfer stickers, transfer letters. They have them in like this black font, and then they also have them in a pretty gold. So you literally just rub it on and it literally sticks to anything. Well, not anything, I'm pretty sure it sticks to, oh, that doesn't really say much. It says suitable for all smooth surfaces, like tile, furniture, paper, scrapbook, gift box, etc. So, <laughs> So yeah, this was a really good find. I have a Cricut. I just bought these to kind of show you guys, but these are awesome. If you don't have a Cricut, go to the dollar store and get these to make your own labels. Like, these are great. Another thing that I don't have handy with me, but I will insert a clip of it, is a spice rack organizer. I'm personally not using it as a spice rack organizer. I'm kind of just using it as like a little display mount, which it also works for that too. It's really cute, it's really aesthetic, it's white, so it kind of just went along with the room. But you can put it into your kitchen and in one of your cabinets to organize your spices or even organize some cans just so they're easily visible to you and you don't have to take everything out of your cabinet to kind of get to it. Next thing that I also don't have on hand, but I will also include a clip of, and I believe this is our last item. I tried to fly through this video because my son is napping and I only have a certain amount of time. So <laughs> excuse me if I'm talking like 500 miles a minute. Um, but they are the fabric storage bins that you can place either on a shelf or in those cube storage shelves that they have. I love them. The only thing that I wasn't a fan of was that they don't have a very wide color range. So they don't have a wide color selection. I was pretty disappointed in that. But I did find some just flat gray ones that I ended up taking. My son, my son's little cube storage needed an update with those bins. Um, so I was very happy to find out that I can get them for a dollar. I ended up buying four of them. They're a great size and they can store a lot of stuff in them. So definitely worth the dollar spent. If you like like designs and stuff like that, I believe they have a few patterns and I know that they have a kind of like grayish black, but it's kind of like heathered ish, if I'm saying that right. Um, but I just took to the gray because it's just a solid blank color. And yeah, there's a lot of things at the Dollar Tree that I didn't know about unless I actually looked for it. And when I was looking for organizing items, I was like, wow, they actually have a lot of useful things here. So if you didn't know about these items, I am very happy to help. If you liked this kind of video and I will keep on bringing it to you, I'll bring you the Dollar Tree vines. I go to the Dollar Tree all the time. If you guys haven't seen my previous videos, I also did 
two DIY photo shoots using a lot of Dollar Tree items for my toddler. So go ahead and check those out if you haven't already. I will leave them at the end of the video and also link down below. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment on your way out, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!